Hey, Victoria. <laughs> hey, hope your work's going well. Um, also, thank you for the bits. That's really sweet of you. Um, and your alter ego, Victoria. Whoa. Welcome to you both. <laughs> oh my gosh, my uh, camera is really overexposed. Let's fix that real quick. It's like that weird time of day where the sunlight outside is really bright, but like that makes it kind of hard to adjust for the lighting here. That'll be good enough for now. We might need to play with it as the sun moves. Oh, definitely get that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This week we're going to say goodbye to these nails, which I actually really liked this week. Got a lot of compliments and I, um, but the autofocus isn't working. Hold on. Um, but you know, they need to be redone. <laughs> And that's okay. How do I do auto? Do auto. There we go. Jazzy! Oh my goodness, how's it been? Long time, long time no see or no, no chat. How are you? It turned out so great. Thank you. Um, but yeah, got lots of compliments on this week. Very much and like was really proud of them. I got some good pictures. I just didn't post them anywhere. Um, but I was like, well, maybe this week we'll do some lemons because <laughs> I liked doing this so much. I don't know how well it's going to work because we used a jelly polish on this last week and I don't have a, a yellow jelly, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, Lark, going to pack up my stuff and get going. Okay, see you in a bit. <laughs> yeah, drive, drive to my house, please. Um... And also maybe we'll do like some whole lemons as opposed to just a little slice of lemon. And maybe they'll be a little smaller so we can do more. I don't know, we're gonna wing it. But I have I have a vision. We gotta say goodbye to these nails and fix them up because there is a break in this one. So that's why we gotta take it all off and redo. Thank you, Dazzy. Dazzy, what's on your nails this week? Oh, I forgot to put Whoops! Oh my goodness gracious! Throwing things. Did not mean to post twice in Victoria's Discord. Whoops. All right, thank you for that shout out, Victoria. I know you're not, uh, you might be driving, but I appreciate that on your, your Discord. Oh, hey, Doomed, how's it going? How are you? For a neat knitting or crochet pattern right now for what kind of a garment or open to anything one time the most complicated thing i've ever knitted was a sweater and it took me like three years <laughs> and then when i was done it was the wrong size so i unraveled it and then i was like i'm gonna do it again and then i never finished it Maybe I'll try again this winter. It's too hard to do it in the summer because the whole sweater ends up sitting on your lap while you're knitting it and it's so hot. 
dark purple with solar unicorn skin on my right hand and purple blue multi chrome on my left. Ooh, had them for about a week now. Nice. I feel like, um, I think I have, I think I have the solar one, solar unicorn skin too. And yeah, I think it looks amazing over like an indigo or a dark purple. That's how I like to wear it too. And the multi chrome. This is the multi chrome from Hollow Taco. Ooh, you're thinking about crocheting or knitting a tank. That'll be interesting. That sounds cool. Goodbye, little orange. No, it's the one that I yoinked from OPI. Nice. Go let that one soak for a little bit. This uh, complimentary wine, which is this like purple burgundy, pretty, it's got stains a little bit. That's cool. <laughs> So those of you who have been on stream for the last couple weeks, you know this nail has been precariously fractured and it's held for two weeks. We'll see if it actually lasts this week as well. Not the end of the world if we have to go shorter, but it's living life dangerously. I'll say that. I would love to try the Hollow Taco Multi Chrome Polishers. They look so tasty. They do look really cool. I've like put them in my cart probably three different times and then just haven't committed to buying them. Um, I think the gunmetal one is really unique. And then it's been a long time since I looked at them. I think I didn't want to go with like the purple, blue, green because I feel like that one's kind of a uh, like, you see that kind of combination in a lot of different multi-chrome polishes. I liked, I think it was the one that's like more warm tones. It was like a purple to orange or something. Never bought them. Couldn't, couldn't commit. Again. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do?
Jazzy, what has been your go-to top coat lately? For, I'm assuming normal polish is what you've been using. Cause I, you know, my trusty dusty such V, this one's empty. It's been good, but everybody knows it smells terrible. And also it kind of shrinks as it cures, which, or dries, which sometimes can be really annoying depending on the nail art. So I recently picked up Essie Good To Go, but it's not as like hard, if you know what I mean? Like it scratches um, the, sur the surface. You can tell there's more scratches that appear. Um, so I've been like, it's been okay, but wasn't in love. Hey Fanaticure, how are you? Semi lurk as I work on my computer, your copy. Sounds good. What's going on with your computer? Thanks for popping in. You, you go with the such beat. Got a giant bottle for $15. It's like giant, like bigger than this. I've had it for years and I'm probably halfway done with the bottle. That's impressive because I feel like if I have mine for like more than a couple months, it becomes unusable. <laughs> you got a new one. That's awesome. So it's going to be like easier, more powerful for streaming, gaming, doing all the things. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm getting a spam call. <laughs> You like KB Shimmer clearly on top. I have not tried that one. I've never actually tried any of KB Polishes. Polishes. They're online only, right? And is that one a quick dry or just a standard top coat? You need more little pads. Yes, less drop frames. We love to see that. Probably won't be doing much gaming yet. Nice drop, less drop frames is always good. Also got the thinner that goes well with it. Really don't like that it thickens up after a couple of uses. Oh, nice. Um, I've got like a thinner from Orly that I use sometimes with it. Um, but it felt like after a while I was using it, adding it to the top coat every use, which kind of annoyed me. But I guess maybe that's just how you gotta do it. And I'm probably gonna end up going back to Setch V because it's just so nice. But I was just curious. Also, my nails on my right hand chipped a bunch of this in the last couple of days. So we gotta take care of them. Excuse you. Popper just hit the door. Hi. Big yawn. I can send you the link so you can see how large the bottle is. Yeah, that'd be dope. Please do. Thank you. Thought about today doing um fall nail art because it's getting to be that time of year, but I'm also like, well, let's do one more week of summery and then, then we'll probably start to transition.
getting that sudden craving to redo my nails. I get that craving every week. Basically every week. You should do your nails and do them with me. Cause you said it's been about a week, right? It's a tooling based quick dry. Oh, I don't even know what that means. They're online only and the free shipping minimum is $75. Oh but their staples are amazing. Great ridge filling. Okay, I'm really in the market for a good ridge filling base coat. Um, Cause I'm currently just using what I got, what I thought was gonna be a ridge filling base coat, which is the Orly nail armor. It's not, but I'm just trying to use that up before I buy a new one. Um, so I'll have to check out there for their base coat. Great cleanup brushes at all great price, all at great prices. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, I don't need cleanup brushes yet, but you know, sometime I will because these are all just dollar store paint brushes and they don't work great. And when the acetone finally kills them, I'll probably buy a real brush. They sell glitter safe polish thinner. Ooh. Tooling just means like the good stuff. Mm, wink, wink. Nail armor blows. Yes. Okay. So the first time I bought it. They were like, oh, it's got this, it's like fortified with bamboo particles or whatever. And I'm like, hey, I don't really care what that means. I just want it to fill ridges. And then I got it and it was gritty. Like it was like sand in the polish and you could see the sand and you could feel it. When it would dry, it was like bumpy. And I was like, how in the world is anybody supposed to paint over this without getting a texture? And so I like contacted Orly and I was like, hey, what the heck? And then they were like, oh, sorry, we reformulated this. And they sent me a new bottle. And it's not gritty anymore, but it's... But they were like, yeah, it's supposed to have those grits in it. But we reformulated it, even though they said it was supposed to have it. And then I didn't have the grits, but it's just like kind of... It's like not great. It's just there. It, it's not bumpy anymore, at least. But yeah, super weird. I'd really love to, but I need to catch up on notes and studies from last week. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. School started again, huh? I'm sorry. Maybe as a treat later for after you finished studying. Yeah, it was super weird. Oh, you gonna do your mom's nails? That'll be fun. I love Orly, but what the actual crap, right? I was like, what the heck? Like, I know you guys don't suck. Why would you make this product and then sell it? It was so weird. At least they gave me one that, that one of the new bottles. It's just like, this can't, nobody who actually paints their nails would want this. Like this was made by somebody who didn't, who's never painted their nails. That's what I figured. I will say when you do go for a better cleanup brush, the K and I Weed Whacker is amazing. Not sure about free shipping, but I got two and paid for shipping, and the total was like fourteen dollars. Like, yeah, I don't mind paying for shipping if the like all-in price is reasonable. K and I, okay. I'm gonna have to like bookmark that or something. Put it on my wish list. 
yours didn't have grit, but it was just blah. I'm glad that yours didn't have grit. Maybe we have the same one now, and I agree, it's just blah. Thank you, yeah, I'd love that if you could throw it in the Discord. That way I'll remember. Appreciate that. I also forgot to buy more acetone this week, so all I've got is my green polish remover. So let's hope we don't have to do too much cleanup because then it turns my cuticles green. Thank you. I heard I heard the Discord ping a couple times. So I figured that was you. Appreciate it. You and Jazzy. That, yeah, that cleanup brush looks really nice. <laughs> nice angle, thin, smooth, currently sold out, but all right, I'll have to keep an eye on it. Thank you. Hey Kyle, you're gonna lurk doing some homework? Nice, no worries. Thank you for lurking. Yeah, super thin but wide and flexible. Even when it gets all frayed, it's still better than anything else. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you for the recommendation. Okay, gonna do mute my microphone as always so I can do some filing.
Alright, left hand has been filed and cuticles done. Let's do the right hand real quick and then go wash my hands and we'll get going. Let's also see if I can make this brighter again because it got so dark.
You realize that your skin just underneath your nail is pretty tender. If I poke it or the skin gets pulled down, would constant cuticle oil help? I never really had this before. You mean like um, skin just underneath my nail? Like down here? Like right under, uh, right underneath like what, this little piece that you can kind of like, well not on that one, like kind of get underneath here. The bottom side. Oh, like under here, like down here. I don't know. I don't know if nail oil would help. I mean, I don't think it would hurt. That's probably for sure. <laughs> I feel like nail oil always helps. Um, I know mine really hurts too when, if it gets pulled down because then it's literally like your nail bed ripping up from your nail. Or at least that's my understanding. <laughs> um, obviously I don't know a lot about nail anatomy. Um, one of our Twitch friends, uh, Brie, she streams, she's a nail technician and she knows a lot about nail anatomy. I don't think it really matters how much it's oiled, mostly because, like I said, it's it's literally your nail plate ripping off of your nail bed. Um, and that's why it hurts so bad, because that's like part of your skin that has never experienced anything. <laughs> it's never been touched by air, it's never been touched by any other objects. And so, um, doesn't surprise me that it hurts. Mine hurts when that happens too, if I get a little too aggressive with it. I think cuticle oil helps maybe with the healing process. Keeping it hydrated is probably doesn't hurt it in the healing process. I don't know if it stops the problem. Can't be hurt if you have robot hands. Yep, yeah, there you go. Just uh, replace your hands with robot hands and then you'll be good. Oh, okay, looks like I have some extra skin there too that looks like it can be trimmed off, but it's really sensitive for some reason, so I don't touch it. Yeah, mine does that too. Let's see if, I don't know if my camera is good enough to show it. Maybe if I like shade it a little bit. Yeah, like there's a little piece of skin that kind of grows up on the nail plate here. It's not like perfectly flush with the like outline of my nail but I also know that when I um if I pick at it or trim it away it hurts really bad yeah I think it's supposed to be there I think it's not meant to be trimmed away <laughs> and I think the only way to get it to look like and not ha not see that is basically like if you see pictures on Instagram or something and people don't have that my guess is they actually have very short nails and they're wearing fake nails overneath or over top, um, but that's my guess. Um, if any other, if there's any other nail techs listening, <laughs> wanna chime in on that? Um, I literally don't know anything. I just know that I have had that same pained experience with that little piece of skin. I'm sure it has a name. And I just leave it alone as much as possible. I know that if I've like poked it too hard though, and then I try and clean up with acetone, it hurts a lot. <laughs> or cut my nails too short kind of deal. Its name is Steven. Okay, so the Steven cuticle. Mm, so I guess it's not a cuticle. The Steven nail growth. <laughs> Sounds grosser. I have a similar hormone. Yeah, acetone hurts it a lot. Yeah, it's because it's like an open wound, basically. I think there's a lot of nerves underneath there too. I know when I sanded through my nail, it was one of the more painful things I've ever, ever experienced. Just like air hurt. I think there's a lot of nerves there.
much interesting. I'll try and keep them hydrated. I had a bad habit of not being consistent with it. Me too. I used to be really good about it and now it's like I'm really flaky about it. I just bought more nail oil so I can refill my pens, which I think will help because I usually just keep a, a pen, nail oil pen on my keyboard. So I'll do it like when something's, I'm waiting for something to load while I'm working or something, um, which doesn't happen as much anymore because I'm not doing drafting work as much where I'm usually waiting for something to save or load. That's mostly just emails. <laughs> um, but I haven't refilled them yet. So I'm hoping when I refill the pens, I'll get more, I'll be better about it. I just poked myself a little too aggressive with the scissors. All right, gonna mute again.
Okay. Clean up a little bit. And I'm gonna go wash my hands, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Clean nails and ready. All right, let's grab our polishes for what we need. Um, we'll use the nail armor that we have established is just meh. <laughs> Jazzy. Um, I was kind of thinking of having like a either a light purple or a light blue background um, for the lemons. This one could be nice because it's very light. I'm a little bit worried this is gonna dry a little dark, but it could be pretty. This could be pretty. Oh, thank you, I'm glad you like my dress. I've had it for so long, like years, <laughs> like almost 10 years and I, like wore it in college and all that and then I think I just started feeling like you know not confident enough to wear it again and put it on today and I was like you know I can still wear this I was feeling like I was like oh is it too too I don't know 10 years ago <laughs> but thank you um this could also be a fun I think it's a little too dark to get the lemons to pop, but maybe we'll leave it there. This one's like a shimmer. I don't really like the color quite though. <laughs> Thanks, Jazzy. Um. I have several yellows that I think we're gonna have to play with to get the right tone. I don't have like neon yellow, which is maybe what I need. This looks just too mustardy. I'm gonna just put that one back. I have the hollow taco one, but also like, I don't know that I want it to be hollow, you know? The blue would look really nice with the yellow lemons. I also say that because blue and yellow is my favorite combo. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll do that then. Probably we'll need some white, so we'll just grab white. I guess I have this yellow, but it's kind of like a yellowish green. Oh, it looks so much different on stream. In real life, it's like pretty obnoxious color. It's like almost green. But maybe it's like a, we mix it in with something. I was like, oh yeah, let's do lemons. And then me thinking like, hey, I don't actually have a, a lemon colored polish. <laughs> I think the blue would look best with the yellow. Let's do blue then. Push those away. Yeah, it's kind of like, I don't know. It looks so different on stream. Um, got some green. We're, we're gonna have to mix some colors and that's okay. If I did just hollow, we can use 
the hollow, but I don't know. color for the uh, leaves, I think. Too light. All my polishes need to be shaken. looks good we'll add some gold flakies but it, it's gonna depend on the tone the tones we end up with I think do you organize your polishes by brand or color I organize them by brand but I also don't have an insane number of polishes um, it's just these two little three tiers or four tiers here um, so yeah I counted them not too long ago and I kind of forgot what the na that number was. I think it was like 40 to 60, somewhere in that range. Which I know in the nail art community is not that much, but it's a lot for like, you know, normal people. So, <laughs> Oh, have a good nap. Thank you. Thank you, Doomed. Have a good nap. Do you have magnetic polishes? I have one magnetic polish and I would love to have more. Um, it's a gel though, and it's uh, from Born Pretty. It works okay, um, but it's kind of like a bluish purplish magnetic. Have you gotten any magnetics lately? Or own any just in general? You've been collecting polishes since you were a child. You have 170? Dang, that's, that's a lot. I've only been into nails for like, since like 2017 or 18, something like that. And a lot of these polishes are ones that I stole from my mom's nail polish box. Cause she just like had a bait, like a box of like reds and nudes and she, they were all like 10 years old. So when I started painting my nails, I kept a bunch of them. Um, so the, some of those polishes might be like 15 years old. Do not own any magnetic polishes. Oh, really? In 170, none of them are magnetic. I'm looking at moon cap polishes. I'm so tempted to get one of their magnetic collections. Those seem really good. They look really like they've got that formula down. Um, the Born Pretty one, like I said, is like okay in quality and it was cheap. 
which is why I have it. Um, I feel like Cirque has come out with a couple that look really interesting. They're not as like dramatic, but there was one that was a limited edition that I wish I had got when it was, uh, it was one of their do good polishes. But it was like a, it was called Firecracker and it was like red, orange magnetic. Um, but yeah, the Mooncat ones look really, like they're wild. Thrown a lot out. Surprisingly, have two yellow polishes and three green ones, but none of the kind that I've been wanting to try. Like all of her mustard tones. Oh wow, yeah, those are kind of the two. Like I was really happy when I bought that one mustard color, which is um, urbanized from Cirque. Like I really like having a mustard tone, and then this one is really weird. It needs to be shaken up. Um, from Zoya. It dries a different color than it um, than it looks in the bottle, but I think it's a I think it's like my only olive, and it's helpful to have especially for fall. But I um, I hear you. Yeah, it's like sometimes it's nice to have some of those more jewel tones. But I'll I'll swatch this so you can see how it dries. When did our music end? did what playlist am I gonna play now the same one I'll swatch the Urban Ice too, just to see. Now I got tabs of different nail brands to look at. <laughs> I actually like kind of, this. the picture we have of our lemons are very bright lemons. But maybe we do some like, you know, muted lemons. I guess it doesn't really look right with this blue though. But what if, ugh, let me just take all my polishes off the shelf. What if instead of the bright blue, we do a muted blue? <laughs> and just do kind of a more muted palette. This, I'm a little worried it's gonna be too dark, but we'll see. Kind of reminds me of like a kitchen <laughs> for some reason, like a kitchen wallpaper. Varieties. <laughs> but this one might need some thinner. See how bright that is? This is like Crayola yellow, you know? It is a nice yellow. It's very like, just like quintessential yellow. See, I feel like the combination of these two polishes would make some really nice looking lemons though, so. Here's our neon. Oh my gosh. That hurts. That hurts my eyes. Oh, goodness, I can't see it very well. It's like super green, green-yellow. 